Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing really well. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my skincare routine and not just any skincare routine, the skincare routine that actually changed my skin for the good. So this is what my skin is looking currently and I am so, so happy with it. It has been doing really great for the like past five, six months. And all the credit goes to all the products I'm going to be showing you in this video. So if you're interested in knowing what changed my skin for the good, then you know the drill. Continue watching. Most of the products under the skincare routine are affordable and the other ones are not so affordable but I can guarantee you that the efficiency of all the products is top notch because I have been you know trying and testing these products for a long time now and I can 100% recommend them without any doubt. Now there's a small disclaimer I want to put out here is that I am not a certified dermatologist or a certified practitioner for you know to recommend you products like 100% this will suit you. You need to do a patch test before trying out any products on your skin and you need to know your skin type really well before you put in anything onto your skin. I'm gonna be recommending a cream that is medically prescribed usually but you need to consult your doctor or dermatologist before you use any of the products I recommend you in this video now if i talk about my skin type my skin type is oily and sensitive and acne prone as well so this is my skin type and all the products i'm going to show you have been working really well for my skin type and if you have a similar skin type then these products may work for you too but that doesn't mean that they will like 100% work out for you. There are many reasons, many factors that affect your skin, which is climate, your like healthy habits, your eating habits, your uh, water intake, your genetical, um, you know, cells and factors. There's so much there that, you know, affects your skin. So be very sure of the products you're choosing for your skincare. Do your own research. Do patch tests before putting out anything onto your skin for a long time. And yeah, I just had to say this out there because it is necessary. Now, without any further blabbering, let's quickly get into the video. So I'm going to begin with toning because that's the first thing I do after cleansing and for cleansers I use anything I have available at that moment and I either use the clean and clear foaming face wash or the simple moisturizing facial wash. I use anything I have in front of me and to be honest I'm not very choosy with cleansers and the toner I've been using is this one by Dot and Key. It has been erased completely because I use it daily and I'm going to be putting all the products onto my skin as well because I have just cleansed my skin to show you how the products feel and look and you know work on my skin. Now the first step is um, toning and I use this one which is the Sika Clarifying Skin Toner. And I love this toner so so much. It is actually infused with niacinamide and Sika. So Sika is a calming agent or calming product for acne and uh, pimples and it works really well. It's just like water and feels very hydrating. I don't use any cotton pads or anything. I just use it the way I'm showing you. I take some of the product into my palm and I, you know, apply it directly onto my face and whatever is left, I'm going to be putting it up with my hands. I don't like using cotton pads for applying toner because most of the product gets absorbed and it's a total wastage and plus cotton pads really are not so good for our environment so I completely avoid using cotton pads and I will encourage you guys to do so as well because uh, it's a wastage like the product is wasted you are generating unnecessary waste for the environment and we should actually reduce the consumption of cotton discs or cotton pads instead use your hands because that's the best thing you could use for your um skincare now um make sure your hands are clean you wash them before you begin your skincare because that's a huge mistake many of us do make sure you've washed and cleansed your skin and you know washed your hands too don't use your dirty hands now um this is what my skin feels after applying the toner it feels really soft and plump 
It is infused with niacinamide, which is an ingredient that provides a lot of moisture and softness to the skin. It also targets spots and dark marks on your face, which is really good for your acne marks. I've seen a noticeable difference in the, you know, acne marks and because i've seen that they have become less noticeable they've started to fade since the day i've been using this toner and it's really really affordable too the best thing is that it is so affordable and so efficient like it's the best combination affordability and efficiency when these two come together it's this happens all right and this is what happened with the toner i love the way this looks and feels it somewhat has a fragrance that you, some of you may not like but it does fade out in a minute or two which is good and is not so overpowering other than that it's beautiful it feels so hydrating onto the skin and it's just amazing i love the feel of this toner now i the second thing i do is i use um Essence. I started to use this essence, which is the Snail Mucin Power Essence by Cosar X. It is not so affordable. It works so, so good. It's amazing. Now, I usually don't wait for the toner to soak in because you should be using this on damp skin. So I directly go in with the essence directly after the toner. So I use just three pumps of the essence and I start, you know, massaging it onto my skin. This is what the essence feels like. And do you see this healthy glow? It just adds a beautiful glow to your skin. And this is not temporary. Like the glow, you feel it the next day as well. Like it really repairs your skin quality. And I love this essence. It's just amazing. It is so, so worth it. Now, this is what I use after the toner. And I mostly use it at night time. I do not use it in the day. I sometimes use it in the day, but I do not use it on a regular basis. I use the essence at night. And I especially use it when I have to use tretinoin. So on the days I don't use the essence, I use this salicylic acid by Dermaco and it's an amazing salicylic acid product. It's the best serum I've used ever for treating my pimples, active acne and acne marks. This serum is so amazing, so amazing. I cannot tell you guys. So I'm not going to be applying this on my face today because I need to show you some other products that I cannot mix with this. But um, yeah, I'm going to show you like what it feels like. It just feels like water and I'm left with very less of it. It's infused with salicylic, witch hazel and willow bark and can be used both at day and night. But if you're using this at day, make sure you're using a, like a sunblock or sunscreen. And this is what the serum feels like. It just feels like water and gets quickly absorbed onto the skin. This is what it feels like and I also do like the fragrance it has. It has a beautiful and like very pleasant fragrance. It doesn't have a pungent or weird fragrance, which is something I really like. So this is what the serum feels like. It's like normal salicylic um, serum and it's actually so efficient and effective that i will 100 percent recommend this if you are looking for a nice effective you know salicylic acid uh serum now salicylic acid targets the dirt on your skin it does get rid of active acne it does get rid of the acne marks and all the bumpy texture skin you have salicylic acid targets all of these skin concerns and it's going to get rid of them like anything hands down i recommend this 100 percent so i usually use the salicylic acid face serum in the day and at night i prefer using the essence i also do interchange them or i use like the salicylic acid for both day and night so it really depends on what i'm feeling like and i change it accordingly but this is the serum i've been using so like consistently and the essence i've also been using it so consistently since the day i have 
you know started using it i did order a restock if you've seen my nyaka haul i did order a restock already and i am in love now the product that takes most of the credit for making my skin so better and clear is this one right here and this is tretinoin cream usp with a concentrate of 0.025 percent which is the initial step to tretinoin and the most like mild uh, concentration of tretinoin this is what the cream looks like it's a medicated cream you get at any pharmacy or medical store and i could say it's the best decision ever i have made for my skincare to include tretinoin in my skincare routine now i only use this cream once a week because tretinoin is like um a bit strong and you should really start with a very minimal amount and minimal application because it could burn your skin and flake it out so be very careful when you're using tretinoin on your skin it could actually destroy your skin too so you have to be very careful while using it so i have just started it and i am using it only once a week and i usually keep sundays for that extra you know skincare thing so i only use it on sundays so you have to start with once a week and slowly develop it to two to three times and then you can also increase the concentration to 0.5 once your skin gets in a habit of tretinoin so if you're starting up then use the 0.0 to five and use it only once a week and see how it acts onto your skin now um this is very drying in nature and you need to use a lot of moisturizer to like moisturize your skin and dry skin people i won't recommend you to use tretinoin like that you need to consult a dermatologist because they will be you know in a better position to guide you but if you have acne marks, acne prone skin, a lot of hormonal acne, blackheads, whiteheads and like a disaster of skin and you really want to you know correct all of that and get clear skin, tretinoin is the only solution for it and it is also anti-aging. So if you actually incorporate tretinoin in your early 20s, you're doing such a wonderful thing for your skin and this is an anti-aging product which is going to reduce aging in your skin and you will look much younger and your skin will be so healthy so healed so clear the day you start using it all right now uh, to use this you need a lot of moisturizer so i'm going to tell you what i do and how i use it so it doesn't actually crack me up or it doesn't flake out my skin so I don't directly apply tretinoin onto my skin. Instead, I moisturize my skin first and then I use the tretinoin and then I use another moisturizer on top to seal everything in. And it's very important for you to moisturize before so you actually create like a barrier between the tretinoin and your skin so it doesn't act up so quickly because tretinoin is a bit powerful. So in order to reduce that um, immediate power you need to use like a moisturizer beneath the tretinoin now i'm gonna be using a lighter moisturizer first which is the pons super light gel so if i do not use um tretinoin i directly move on with this moisturizer and then apply the sunscreen and i'm good to go and on sundays where i use tretinoin i first use this moisturizer then i use the tretinoin and then i put on another moisturizer to you know sandwich it and make it more effective now i'm going to take this moisturizer which is infused with hyaluronic acid and i'm going to be putting this onto my skin really well now you need to be very careful with the type of ingredients you choose with retinoin because you cannot use a salicylic acid serum you cannot use ahas or vhas or lactic acid or vitamin c with retinoin because those ingredients already make your skin sensitive and if you're going to be using retinoin with it your skin is going to become extra sensitive and it's going to start flaking up and it's going to actually destroy your skin so when you're using tretinoin or you're planning to use tretinoin, use hyaluronic acid or niacinamide infused ingredients and products that have those ingredients that go well with tretinoin. Hyaluronic acid works really well with it. Make sure you don't even use face washes infused with salicylic or vitamin C. 
just use normal face washes infused with hyaluronic or niacinamide and then use tretinoin with it do not use um the other ingredients such as aha bha lactic acid glycolic acid retinol or vitamin c with tretinoin because your skin is going to be hypersensitive and it's gonna you know flake out so you have to wait until this moisturizer is completely absorbed and your skin feels dry before you apply tretinoin so i'm gonna just wait until this um becomes dry and i can proceed in the application of tretinoin another thing i really like to do is use vaseline on the sensitive areas of my face before i apply tretinoin because that sort of creates a barrier which is more um you know like thick and prevents from flaking because when i just started using tretinoin i did flake out like my skin started to flake out from my inner corners my nose and my eye corners so i really make sure to protect that with vaseline so i like to put in some vaseline on the inner corners of my mouth and nose because uh, these areas are more sensitive and super delicate so it's really important to like provide some sort of protection if you use eye creams during the night then this is the right time to apply it before the tretinoin so your eye areas are protected nicely before you go in with tretinoin all right so now that my moisturizer feels absorbed and my skin feels dry now i'm going to be applying tretinoin on top and you have to use just a pea sized amount of tretinoin uh, because it's what like this is just the amount you require you don't need to apply much of it you just need this much like a pea size amount and i'm gonna start applying this onto my face this cream is so efficient you will love the glow it adds to your face the way it acts on your skin you will fall in love now you don't really need much of it this is more than enough you don't really need much product and i'm going to just start applying this onto my face and don't forget your neck i just use whatever i have on my fingers for the neck and you start applying the cream You can already see how my skin looks plump and glowy after applying the tretinoin. Even my fingers feel so shiny and so good and thick moisturized after applying the tretinoin. But you still need to use a thick and heavy moisturizer on top of it to sandwich the tretinoin so it works more effectively. Because tretinoin is a drying agent, as I told you earlier, it targets the active acne, it dries out all the gunk, the bumpy texture, everything. It's just going to get rid of anything and everything you have on your skin and it's going to promote healthy and glowy skin. And for that, you need to make sure you use it in the best way and um, the best way is what I'm showing you this is the right way of layering tretinoin with the skincare and I'm going to tell you which product I use I use the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense on top of this to sandwich everything in and I also recommend doing this like half an hour or an hour before you go to bed so that every single thing you've applied onto the skin is absorbed onto the skin and does not go to your pillowcase all right now i'm going to be layering this moisturizer which feels very thick and moisturizing although it doesn't feel um like so heavy it's moisturizing but doesn't feel so heavy and i recommend it a lot for even oily and acne prone skin because it's amazing and then i'm just gonna blend this in This moisturizer is so good and when you have everything applied and you're putting up like this moisturizer, your skin feels baby soft. So you can see my skin feels so dewy, so 
moisturized. I love the feeling of this heavy moisturizing skincare, which is going to actually moisturize and replenish and repair my skin during the night. And when you wake up the next day, you're going to be waking up like, wow, my skin, I love it. And it's going to be working really slowly. Like you won't really see much of a difference in the you know, starting month, like because you're actually using tretinoin only four times in a month. So after two or three months, you'll feel the difference. You'll see like, wow, my skin is actually getting clear. You are actually, you know, getting that um, beautiful, clear skin. And that's what I've been seeing. And this is my raw skin without any ring light this is just natural light coming in this is what my skin looks in real and i have been loving it so much that i actually needed to make a video on this and show you that this is what i've been doing for my skin now you need to be very careful and do not use retinoin in the day only use it at night and if you are stepping out the next day then make sure you use a sunscreen before you step out because your skin is going to be sensitive and you do not want to take the chance to ruin it or get, you know, pigmentation spots. And actually make it a habit to wear sunscreen, whether you are indoors or outdoors, use sunscreen every single day and reapply it and make sure you do this because it makes a difference and sunscreen is very important for your skin. Now, uh, before I... I go to sleep i also like to use a lip balm and this is the one i've been loving which is from laneige this is their lip sleeping mask in the variant berry and i just take like this much it's also quite moisturizing and i apply it onto my lips and yeah, that was all for today's video. I hope you guys found this helpful and you actually enjoyed watching it. If you have any questions around tretinoin or any other questions, you can drop them down in the comments below. I have also linked all the products I've used in this video in the description box so you can easily find those products. And um, yeah, like I know some of the products are affordable and you can easily get them. And some of them are not so affordable, but to be honest with you, like the investment you're doing in your skincare is the best type of investment you can do. So I will highly guys motivate you to think of yourself, to have your own goals and make them possible, accomplish them. Because to be honest with you, like getting clear skin was also one of my goals and I am actually moving towards it and it's just about to get accomplished and I am so, so happy for it. And um, yeah, I'm actually looking like a glazed donut and the feeling is so amazing. Just try it out. And again, Tretinoin is also a very affordable cream you get at the pharmacy, which is very easily accessible. So definitely do try the Tretinoin. Make sure you do your own research and properly incorporate it. The way I taught you in this video is the very first um, like initial stage of tretinoin. So I will be updating you what else I've been doing, how I've been changing it. So there might be other videos coming up soon in the coming months. And yeah, this was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Take care, keep on smiling and see you in the next one. Bye guys.